Hey, YouTube Mick here. All right, it's been a uh, very, very long time since I've been out bush. Uh, I thought I'd just spend the day uh, driving around. I checked out a uh, a dam in the area, took some pictures, and now, now I'm at Belanglo, um, just taking some more pictures. I basically, um, I've just got into, I guess, photography. I uh, picked up this DSLR and just been mucking around and I'm telling to be honest I'm finding it really interesting and I guess um, relaxing taking pictures of just anything so I'm at Belanglo today just taking a few pictures of whatever I can and want but um, I thought what I'd do is I'm about to go for a bit of a bit of a scout bit of a walk and uh, I guess in you know being me you know into survival and stuff like that I've got a dedicated camera bag um, that I'm using purely to protect the camera and, and the equipment um, I did try to put the stuff in my you know tactical kind of bushcraft bags but wasn't confident the camera was going to be protected so I went out and bought this um, low pro backpack um, it's designed to carry camera equipment so I'm not going to bore you with the camera stuff but in here is all my lenses and the camera sits there and all that but um, I guess in a survival situation and I can already tell doing photography especially in the bush is that um, I did it before you can quite easily you know get I guess infatuated with a certain thing you want to take pictures of especially if it's a you know animals and stuff like that and I can imagine that you know because you're so focused on taking a picture and maybe following that animal around or scenery or whatever I'm pretty sure it could be quite easily um, done to get lost in the bush so anyway I've just brought some gear with me so in here I've got a, a Stanley one litre water bottle I uh, just carry my, my tripod there um, but in regards to survival gear well, I guess you know piece of mind gear in this section here just carry a few things so it's got my reading glasses there uh, just a bit of a snack for today it's just some tuna and crackers uh, got me your knife the uh, joker swat now in the bag I always want to leave two items of food so um, I've got a cliff bar and a neutral grain kind of muesli bar uh, I want to add one more there so I just want to have some food with me in case something happens and you know I don't want to be hungry so carry a bit of food and there's not much in here to be honest because realistically I'm going to places where I know where I am but it's just in case uh, just a do rag sweat rag a uh, neck buff a poncho which will double as a shelter if need be um, in this section here, I've got a two-person emergency blanket. And then in this pocket here, I've got um, three compression bandages. Uh, if you remember my videos, and sorry it's been a while since I've been doing videos, um, I carry these mainly for snake bites, obviously, and sprained ankle, sprained wrist. If you cut your head, you can wrap it around. Um, so I always carry compression bandages there. I guess my main go-to when it comes to uh, first aid. And then in this pocket here, just got some Dettol hand sanitizer, some electrical tape. I love this stuff that doubles as a band-aid. Uh, so I've got my fire kit here. So I've got the uh, what's it called? Live fire. I love that thing. I've got a waterproof, windproof jet lighter with a bit of tinder at the bottom and just an emergency whistle and I believe I've got some matches well actually no, I think I've got some fat wood stored in here yeah, it's got little pieces of fat wood stored in there I've got a signal mirror in there some paracord, 
got my De Nova or De Nova uh, sharpening plate. Just a bit of repair, I guess, and extra cordage, some artificial sinew, um, sail needles, and some like precision um, screwdrivers. Got a torch, thick lighter, uh, magnifying glass with char cloth in there. I've got toothpaste. Well, I've got toothpaste. Well, it's the summer months now, or well, it's leading up to summer, and. Uh, did a video on this ages ago it's great if you get bit by uh, bugs or in particular mosquitoes you get bit you just put on onto the bite and it gives you that burning to cooling sensation and it believe me it gets rid of the itchiness straight away uh, then I've got a uh, just an old style compass on the key keeper here that's pretty much it in regards to the survival items uh, in this pocket here I've got a uh, just got a tablet, and then in here, I guess this comes to electronics. I've just got a, uh, a hard drive, a storage drive, whatever you call it. I've got a um, power bank. It's pretty heavy actually, uh, but this is supposed to give you like at least eight charges on a mobile phone. You can charge a tablet and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty much it. So it's just a simple, simple items. I don't want to go too nuts carrying stuff where I know I'm going to be anyway. But it just gives me peace of mind that um, I've got certain gear on me to, I guess, self-rescue myself or if I have to stay in overnight. So anyway, cheers.